All right. Time to make cooling ducts and cooling shrouds for the ZDZ 100 R2 inline twin. It is not liking the Georgia heat too much without some kind of special baffling in there. I've tried other types of baffling and it doesn't seem to be working out real well. So what we're going to do is we're going to make fiberglass cooling ducts and shrouds to go around the cylinder head so that we can get air directly through the cow onto the cylinder and the first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and measure the distance from the cylinder head to the air inlet so we can start planning the new installation. Okay, the next step is going to actually be to measure the cylinder heads uh, all the way around so I can make uh, styrofoam plugs for the shrouds and measure the distance between the cylinder heads so I can get it fit in and get both of them set on there. Okay, here I'm making the plugs that are going to match the heads on the motor. Uh, i got two plugs since it is a twin cylinder inline motor. Uh, you can do this also for a boxer uh, or a single cylinder if you wanted to. Um, just using tight bond to glue it together. Just going very sparingly on there. I don't know if you can see it on there, but there is glue on that plug. Uh, I'm making the plug out of three quarter inch white foam sheet that you can get at Lowe's. Home Depot does not carry it. If you ask for it there, they will not know what you're talking about. You can get this foam sheet at Lowe's in the insulation section. It's about $10 for enough to make 10 plugs for different airplanes and ducting to go along with them. Here are the two plugs after being cut to final size. They are two and three quarter inch square by two and a half inch tall, a little bit larger than the cylinder heads. And they are marked with the center mark on top so they can be mounted to a piece of two by four in the right spacing so that we can build the um, air ducts. Here you can see I have the plugs temporarily mount it to a 2x4 using a clamped piece of angle iron to hold the cylinder heads plug straight and as you can see they are almost perfect and these will slip right up and go right over top of those cylinder heads they may be a little tight they may be, have to be pushed on a little bit but that'll be quite alright here is the balsa wood template I made for the air intakes for the front of the airplane. As you can see, it fits just inside the cowl, so it takes up all the open space. Okay, so that's where you're going to want your air duct to sit. And as the aircraft is traveling through the air, air will get forced into that opening and right up to the cylinder heads. Here you can see the first cylinder shroud has the air intake put on it and it was just made by taking some pieces of foam, gluing them together and shaping them down so that they would fit. And you can see here is our front scoop piece and that is the first half of the scoop. The next one needs to have a piece put on here and then it's going to come up over down in through here and make the other half of the scoop and that should direct cool air over through the cylinders and hopefully keep this monster cool in the summertime. Alright, here you can see that both sets of ductwork have been formed up with the plug and the next step is to start fiberglassing and once we get the glass on then it's fit them onto the engine and see if everything fits inside the cowling you can see the forward scoop area is actually split in two that'll be joined together once we get everything placed in in the cowling 
and make sure everything fits. Then we'll get those joined together and some fiberglass on top to hold it together. Here you can see we started fiberglassing the air ducts and what we'll do is we'll put it on a little bit at a time, let it dry, trim it, and then wrap it around and do another section of it. Uh, this will end up with two coats of glass on it and I'm using straight z epoxy finishing resin not thinned out to make sure I get as much strength as I can into the fiberglass so that these will hold up under the conditions of flight. Here is the forward fiberglass shroud and air ducting all molded onto the plug and the plug is now ready to be dissolved out of it with gasoline. And again, that one's for the forward cylinder, and there is the one for the rear cylinder. As you can see, it's well along on its way. Uh, I think the only thing left of fiberglass on this now is just the four sides of it and around the scoop area. And then that one will be ready to have the plug eaten out with gasoline. Okay, here's both sets of air ducts and cooling shrouds, fiberglassed up, ready to have the foam removed from it. Any final fitting adjustments will be made on the airplane to make sure everything fits nice and snug. Uh, so the next step will be to use some gasoline and heat the foam out so that we have empty fiberglass shells.